let's move forward. So let's talk about bug triage. So what's bug triage? Uh, it's basically a meeting where each bug is prioritized uh, based on its severity, frequency, risk, and so on. So uh, that's actually what we have right now. So we all worked hard and logged a lot of defects, right? So I believe we logged 48 defects total, which is not bad at all. The problem is uh, it's kind of too much. And sometimes it can be not 48, it can be like 200 defects or 300 defects, seriously, um, which is okay. The problem is that we cannot really fix every single bug. So on uh, on a GIF image here on the right, you can see the car kind of gets rusty and, and scratchy, right? And you can still drive that car, right? It's kind of um, from a, like um, safety perspective, it's still okay, it works, right? So the same with defects. Uh, that's why we're not gonna fix them all because some of them uh, are really not that important. If there is a scratch on the car, that's fine. You will probably drive it till you hit something. <laughs> and unless you kind of, if you don't have to fix it immediately, like if your car um, doesn't have a like front wheel, for example, well, now you actually get a, things replaced, right? Uh, you need to buy some, some tire or whatever uh, wheel. Uh, but rather than that, if it's just scratch, it's okay. So um, yes, basically that's the purpose of this meeting. It's usually uh, held by um, either like management or QA lead. Uh, not always regular testers participate in that meeting, but it depends from company to company. So whatever it is, you, you just need to understand that not everything is going to be fixed. It's okay to go with minor issues. So the, re the problem here that if you don't know what the issues are, then you can potentially be screwed really. So it's better to know and say like, yeah, those are minor, it's okay.